All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. I am the Oracle here with some karma reads for you guys. All right, in these karma reads, you get to pick from six different skulls. So we're going to do six different speed reads, karma speed reads. We're going to just look into what they do to you and what is their karma. All right, guys, before we jump into this, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, when you send me good energy, I send that good energy back. So if you just came to talk shit through shade, I just return to sending off this channel. Remember, guys, you get back what you put out. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'll put the timestamps for these readings down below. So pick your uh, skull, skull one, skull two, skull three, skull four, skull five, and skull six. Timestamps down below. We'll see you guys at your readings. All right, pile number one. If you chose the red sugar skull, we are gonna, this is your karma reading. So this could be your karma or the karma of the person that did you dirty we don't know we'll tell you uh we'll see only you'll be able to tell whether this is your energy or not Put the energy is where they belong all right guys all right so the first so the first um question we're going to ask what did they do to you what did they do to you or what did you do to this other person all right we've got the king of wands oh all right so already we kind of Getting player vibes. Yeah, somebody could have had a baby on you. They could have cut you out had because they could have gotten somebody pregnant, yeah. They could have gotten someone pregnant, so they're like, fuck, cut you out, so. Oh, you know what? I got that, okay, so this player, this player could have gotten you pregnant and cut you out, so they got you pregnant and took off and then you were left with all the burdens worry like shit how am I gonna get out of this situation because you know this person that you got pregnant by like it's just like now you feel like a fool okay so this could be let's see this could be um maybe you told this person that you got an had an abortion and they didn't know that you kept the baby maybe okay what's the death card yeah you didn't want to you didn't yeah you didn't want to you didn't want to do it and because you chose like you chose to keep the baby now this person's like well I didn't want the baby and the only reason they they just don't want to have to pay child support they might get caught up because they could have been messing around maybe they were married this could have been your boss that already had a family yeah this is what happened okay so this is what they either did to you or you did to somebody else. So what's going to be the karma for this? What's going to be the karma? What's going to be the karma? So if you were the third party, well, it could. I'm getting that it could be for the two people, the third party and the one that did, you know, who stepped out on their relationship in order to get out of the situation. It's like you're gonna have to <clears throat> pay up. Oh, this this could be to the to the man. He's gonna have to pay to two different area to do two different people. Maybe, you know, if this person already had a family, you know, maybe, you know, if they get a divorce, for example, you know, maybe having to pay alimony and child support while having to pay child support to this other child that they had, that's, you know, you're going to have to balance this situation regardless. Emperor. <clears throat> so it, it could be that you just, you know, have to pay out. You don't want to. You don't want to because you're like, fuck. 
she, this person told me that they had an abortion. And that you were deceived. You found out. <laughs> so you could have been like, fuck. I was, I was lied to. And finding this out is bringing down the tower. But that tower is, you know, it's your karma for the decisions you've made in the past. Maybe to end old... Um, family situations, home situations, maybe you created a lot of conflict in other people's homes. So this is your karma that <clears throat> someone's gonna walk away from you and have a new beginning. Mm. Okay. Anything else for karma? So it could have been like, okay, you thought you were strong. You thought you were strong. Um, you thought you could manipulate and deceive people. You thought you could create confusion. Mm. Pay payment, receiving or giving payments for services. So, it, yeah. You could have been messing around with prostitutes and got someone pregnant. Now you're like... You thought you could get away with this kind of behavior. So that's why you're getting the karma. Okay. Alright. Well, group number one, that is what I have for you. This, is, this was your karma speed read. I hope this helped. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings, guys. If this is where I leave you, we'll see you guys next time. All right, group number two, if you chose the orange sugar skull, this is your karma reading. So we're gonna look into two areas. We're gonna look into what did this person do to you, or you know, this is energy, so it could be either you what they did to you or what you did to them so we're gonna look into what was done and then we're gonna look into what's the karma so that again this could be your karma or this could be their karma so we're gonna look into it all right all right guys for group <clears throat> number two what is the story behind what was done okay we have the ace of wands this came out in group uh group number ones the red red skull um, we're talking about a baby, a secret baby. Yeah, okay. What was done? Okay, you know what? Okay, let's try this again. Maybe we can get another person, okay? I don't want to go through all six skulls just to for it to be the same energy. <laughs> so let's get a different story. Try to get a different story, please. For group two. What does group two need to hear at this time? Group two, you might want to like want to speak on some emotions you have for someone. You could be making the decision, <clears throat> making you know, just getting up the courage to do it. Maybe to speak. Okay. Okay, so let's we're talking about karma though. What what was done? What did you do or what was done to you for group two? We have truth. Okay, so what was done? The truth was spoken about some player and his devilish ways. It's almost like your truth put an end to this devil. It brought this person, this devilish king of wands right here. It brought him a lot of joy to be manipulative and to create conflict, to put people in 
states of depression, to keep them in a state of confusion and, you know, just <clears throat> this person like to create a chaos in people's lives, leaving in, leaving them in a state of, you know, confusion and just not able to get out of it because that made them feel superior to, <clears throat> yeah, I just made them feel superior. To, to create all this heartache and conflict and chaos in people's lives by manipulating um, people against one another. <clears throat> and somebody spoke the truth about this person and almost like killed the devil, put the devil in the ground. I heard some sent the devil to hell. <laughs> I don't know who said that, but okay. So that's what was done. So let's see what's the karma. <clears throat> what's the karma? Knight of Swords. Okay. The deception is, has come to an end, you know, because the devil has been put down. So what's the karma? So this could be the karma for the person that, um, you know, for the, the that King of Wands that created all that, <coughs> the conflict. Okay, so the, their karma has to do with their, their money, their finances. It could have to do, um, hmm? hold on. Okay, so this isn't this isn't the that that devil's finances. This um this is talking about this king queen of the cups finances. Okay, so it's like this queen of cups. Whoever whoever this devil did something against. It's like their karma is going to have to watch them grow and succeed anyways. This devil is going to want to come back and offer some kind of love or, you know, some peace, some truce with this queen of, um, with this queen of cups in hopes that she will come back. But like, he doesn't know if this person would come back and this, no, this person wouldn't. I don't, I don't know. Oh, because this person knows that all the only reason they want to come back is because they want to keep them trapped. It's like, let me lure them back in kind of thing. This person ain't going to come back. Oh, yeah, look. Right there at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. This person's leaving. This person's later. All right. So your karma, uh, group number two, or the person's, the other person's karma is just having to watch you succeed gonna hurt them because they're like fuck I, I you know I screwed this person over and now you know things are starting to look better in their life things are just looking up and I don't know if this person will come back and it doesn't look like this person will so you're gonna have to lose out miss out on a good thing and watch them glow up on you that's the karma all right group number two I hope this helped and don't forget to like share subscribe and don't forget don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings if you feel called to do so. If not, and this is where I leave you. See you next time. All right, group number three, if you chose the yellow sugar skull, this is your karma reading. Remember guys, when we're talking about, when we're doing uh, readings, we're talking about energy. So this could be your karma or the person that did you dirty's karma, okay? All right, sorry, I wanted to sage the, you know, my space because I'm trying to get rid of that last energy. Okay, so let's see. We are going to look into what is, what did they, what was done? What did they do to you or what did you do to this other person to get the karma? And remember, this doesn't always have to be bad guys, okay? Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> so I'm getting like somebody was working on some kind of project. It was slow going. You know, they were new at this and they had a lot of burdens <clears throat> trying to get this going. I could have had a lot of competition working against them. This competition was also stealing from this person. It could have been money. It could have been, you know, creative ideas. Yeah, they were, and they were, hmm. I, I just heard slander. They could have been lying on you, saying that you were very promiscuous so that people wouldn't want to work with you. And people are starting to, yeah, they wanted to keep people's, idea of you like you were too chaotic you were too unstable and it could have disappointed it could have disappointed this emperor this emperor could have been a boss like this could have yeah this is all work so this boss could have been like well you know i really like this person you know i think they have they might be onto something it's like they could have had some kind of gut feeling that they wanted to invest in this person because what you know they could have wanted to come and help this person because they, they saw whatever they were working on they were struggling you know they were new at it you know so if you um trying to start a business you know if you don't know anything about business you need to surround yourself with business people but <clears throat> and this person knew that not this boss but this other person and like they could have been wanting to collaborate with people and other people that, that that saw them as competition wanted to, I, I just heard, take their spot. And so to, you know, make this emperor see this other person as unstable and chaotic um, and, and sexually promiscuous, you know, they had to, they had to lie about this person. Now this emperor might be I don't know. How is this? Oh, well, the, you know, feeling. I just heard defeated. Yeah. Because this person was very intuitive, very, um, very calm and balanced, and, and they they could have ended it. Like yeah. Ended ended any kind of collaboration and that they left this person you know burden so this person's just like okay then I'm gonna move away and they went off and made more money yeah we got the wheel of fortune this person has authority mm -hmm. Man. <clears throat> okay so that's what was done okay so what's the karma <clears throat> yeah, that Knight of Pentacles. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> it's like this is what they've been working on. It's their job to use their intuition because the Queen of Cups talks about um, intuitive abilities, intuitive gifts. It's their job to be able to use the, the intuitive gifts to see the deception. So they could have seen people around you who were deceptive and they're like, you know what? <laughs> if you fucks with them, I can't really fucks with you because you bring whatever energy that these deceptive people have on them you bring that to me and this person's like it's okay if you don't you know you don't want to you don't fuck with me like that you know <clears throat> this person probably saw that you had people around you that were deceptive and that's why they were like cool just <laughs> yeah they saw that these people were thieves masking as you know masking their behavior, trying to act, act innocent 
when these people are the ones chaotic, that are very chaotic, that bring chaos into people's lives. I just heard financial chaos. Yeah, you might have not known that these people were like this, very combative. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the karma? What's the karma? Um, okay, so judgment's being called on some on what they were saying, like trying to create the illusion of someone being very sexually promiscuous. So pe like people are going to start calling judgment on that person. Okay. Okay. Also for calling this person, um, with the fool then we got the empress and the fool um this person is very stable this person is wise this person is very mature but they called them crazy they called them you know i heard dumb foolish unintelligent um I just heard the bitch can't spell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this person, that's okay. So it could have been like this person. Oh, I just heard um, uh, neurodivergent. So this person could have had, you know, been on this, you know, this person could be on the spectrum. And that's why they struggle so much because they struggle, you know, to learn things. And yeah, yeah, and they had they had people around them, you know, trying to sabotage them, competing with them, trying to you know end whatever they were building. Yeah, because they knew this person would have success. <laughs> so these people were like like talking shit and making fun of the of a neurodivergent person. <clears throat> okay, did, okay, so these people have made like a very conscious decision to sabotage someone you know, to stop their success, to stop any, um, you know, any kind of anything that they wanted to accomplish that would bring them happiness. They wanted this person depressed, sad, lacking. That's how they, they wanted this person. They made, <laughs> they were very aware of what they were doing, but they're going to be like, oh, well, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. And because they're trying to act innocent, it's like, they're trying to act innocent, but it's like, it's like this, this, this King of Pentacles is just like, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm, I'm just moving away from this, this situation because this situation is nothing but chaos. Um, you know, cruelty. I just heard cruelty, you know, the people in my, in positions of authority are expected to to build a team that will, you know, make, make everything run smoothly. That way we can make, make the money and I just heard make the money and help the people. <laughs> you can't help, you know, the people if there's like so much infighting within your own, you know, business or company, you know? karma <coughs> anything else for karma oh we got the the i was gonna say the ego card but so that's what the emperor in reverse talks about like ego having too big of an ego thinking of you know this is somebody who thinks they're above someone you know, somebody who's smaller, you have nothing to offer me. What the 
fuck out of here. And, you know, go back to the Beauty and the Beast, you know, where the king was offered a gift and he turned it away, not realizing that it was a, you know, it was a really special gift. <laughs> so, yeah, this is... Mm. So <laughs> this emperor is like, how dare you even approach me, right? So he's, they're talking. This emperor is talking to this. <coughs> uh, excuse me, this Knight of Cups, someone who's new, kind of, you know, they see him as immature. Their cup is empty. Like you have nothing to offer me. This could have happened publicly. Like offered you some kind of like collab I just heard collab oh I heard mentorship maybe oh this was some kind of um oh, okay and okay so this knight of cups offers some kind of like you know some kind of collaboration like I said I, I heard mentorship well this person was offering it to this king of um, cups which is this emperor this king of the cups offered their like wanted to work with someone else only to find out that other person that they worked you know chose over this person is deceptive and they're very disappointed with choosing this person I just heard your uh, <clears throat> apology has to be as loud as your disrespect. Yeah, <laughs> disrespect. Yeah, you might not feel like that's, but that's what it was. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever this was, this was disrespectful. <clears throat> All because um, you couldn't, you couldn't um, bring yourself to bring you, you, you weren't. Oh. God. I don't want to say that, um, but I'm going to say what I heard. Um, you weren't strong enough to stop the conflict in your own company, in your own whatever this is, your own business. I mean, there was a lot of conflict, and it made you nervous. Like, oh, I have to, I have to end the bullying in the workplace and restore balance and you fail to do that you could have had the ten of pentacles but you chose the nine instead I mean you still have a lot you know still, <laughs> you still have a lot You should have cut out the third party. The, the, the third, a third parties could be interference. People in work, uh, family, friends, you know, what, whatever. Somebody who interferes with, you know, making good decisions for yourself. Yeah, it was someone at work. It was someone. Oh, this empress. The person you cut out is the one that has the authority, this empress. They cut out this person to go for the, the third party. <laughs> when they thought this empress was a third party, yeah. <laughs> this person was, yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah. It was like this person was the, the, the happiness that where this person was going to find the success. But this person couldn't see clearly. And they thought that the success, this is fake success, fool's gold. <coughs> the grass wasn't greener there. I just heard, okay. All right, group number two or group number three, um, that is what I have for you. I hope this helped. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings if you feel called to do so. If not, and this is where we leave you. 
We'll see you guys next time. All right, group number four, if you chose the green sugar skull, this is your karma reading. So remember guys, when we're talking about um, energy, so that, you know, when I'm pulling for what was done, this could be something that you did to someone or this could be something that someone did to you, okay? And vice versa with the karma as well, okay? So we're gonna look into what what was done. What did you do to this other person or what did this other person did do to you? Um, Let's pull up. All right. Jesus. We have the world card that talks about, um, I'm, I'm getting something online, work online. Okay, what kind of work? Yeah, new beginnings, new work, new job opportunities, online. in reverse Some, like something was imbalanced something was imbalanced um something at work It was imbalanced because there was no balance in the situation because somebody was act actively trying to sabotage someone, <coughs> trying to make the person that they were sabotaging, may, trying to make it look like they were sabotaging the saboteur. Is that right? Something like that. Okay. That's some sh it could have been a boss. It could have been a loss. They wanted, oh, this boss. Okay. The deception was, we got these two players out again. This, these two came out for um, group, uh, group three. Um, yeah, this boss wanted to act like... Okay, so here, here this person is again. Like, here's my cup. This guy's like, I don't even see you. Like, who are you? Get out of here. Like, you have nothing to offer me. The whole time, this person behind the scenes was trying to sabotage this person. This, per this person, this emperor, this boss is very deceptive. Okay, because here we go again um, with the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This here's this third party again. This third party could have been this Queen of Swords, you know, lying to this Emperor again with this. Oh, this person that's trying to offer you this is is very sexually promiscuous. Oh, I got it. like they do this shit on online, like an only OnlyFans or something like that. I heard. Tinder? Yo. See, that's why I don't fuck with online shit like that. You will never find me on online dating, ever. I will not. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> this person wanted to create a lot of... Um, this person caused injustices with their with their deception. They, they, they manipulated and deceived this emperor. They wanted to create that illusion, so they wouldn't they wouldn't choose someone for an opportunity, even though that person would have brought them a lot of success. Even though they were really new, I'm hearing. Even though they were new at what they were doing, they they were still going to be really successful. And their per this person's like, yeah, that's what they do. You know, they they that's not really what they do online. They have an OnlyFans or something like that. You know, I don't know. Hopefully, you do. <laughs> okay, so that is what they did. So, what's their karma? What's their karma? So. 
so somebody's gonna be trying to hide it could be a lover it could be like this person's judgments being called hold on for trying to keep someone stuck There's a lot of other people involved. Um, it's kind of pulling all the players together in the other readings because we have this King of Wands over here. Remember that King of Wands who was um, being really devilish, this player. Um, their job <clears throat> was to come and play house, right? walk away so this person would be so heartbroken oh my god how will i carry on you know that kind of shit <laughs> you know that was you know when this king of wands left their whole world was gonna come crashing down and they wouldn't want to live and they probably off themselves <laughs> this judgment's being called on this whole situation this high priestess this the star um the two of cups you know <sighs> This is what they are going to get regardless. You know, judgment's being called for trying to keep someone trapped from getting this. And it could have been a lover and this person is trying to hide. Like, they're trying to hide what they really did. That they that they stole. That they, that they sabotaged. They tried to slow someone down. Oh, um, they were sabotaging somebody that, that struggled, right? They were new at this and they struggled as it was. They were struggling as it was you know as is and this person came in and took what little bit that they had spirit saying that's the truth because they wanted this person to be stuck <laughs> this person's just like I'm tripping about you so what's the karma what's what's the karma What's the karma? Burdens for your deception? Justice is coming in for, yeah, more deception for your lies. Your, I just heard slander, gang stalking. Yeah, you thought, you thought you were stronger than this person that you th saw as foolish. <laughs> you thought this person was dumb. You're like messing with, you know. Oh, you try to take this person out. Try to take this person out. You thought they were gonna, you thought, okay, you thought they were gonna, you know, fall on their own sword the moment you walked away. So you walked away towards somebody that you got pregnant and this person doesn't even want you or you don't want this situation. You didn't know that your victory was over here with the person that you actually hurt or tried to hurt. <laughs> okay. You got a bitch you think you're all that. You know that, man? This person's like, all right, cool. So I think the karma is just getting stuck for, your, you know, play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Have fun, man. Have fun. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to move on to group number, uh, what, what group are we on? Oh, this is group number five. All right. Mm. All right, group number five. What was done to you? Or what did you do to someone else to deserve this karma that you have coming to you? <laughs> God damn. You got that king of wands, man. That fucking player, man. He's like coming in. Like I got a confession. I have a child. But you're my star. Because you have all the money. Or you will have all the money. 
My life is falling apart. I end things with this person that I left you for. I'm trying to hide that. That this person left me, maybe. My karma's coming in. Alright, so this is somebody who's already receiving their karma. Oh, well. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> you know, they could have gotten fired. Yeah, they could have lost a job. A lot of rejection here. People, <sighs> they could have lost financially. They could have um, maybe lost their job. They could have people just like rejecting them, not wanting to work with them. Yeah. Not wanting to create any new, you know, projects or anything. Yeah, they keep getting cut out. Again, walking away. Ending. This is the this is the current karma. This is what they're actually going through at the moment. So it's not even giving a, a story of what um what happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because well, why is it happening? Because somebody was a player. Somebody got around too much, you know. Oh, they love to. Oh, um, they loved to drink. Look at that big ass cup that you know she's holding on to. It's a huge ass cup. It's like a you know it's a bowl. This person loves to drink, and when they drink, they are very. Um, you know, reckless. Okay. So that's, that's why, you know, that's why everything is going on in your life because, um, you know what I got to here, you know, the, the, the Hierophant talks about spiritual guidance. Not being able to get that spiritual guidance. Yeah, you're going to be trapped. You're going to want to get away. And you're not going to know how to get away. Because before where you could use your intuition. You just knew how to read people. You knew how to get out of situations. You're not going to be able to. It's like your, your guidance is just gone. You're going to want to get out of the situation. You're not going to know how to. And that's spirit saying that's judgment being called on you. For all the shit that you try to hide from. Or all the crap that you've done to others that you've hidden. Everything that's been done in the dark is going to come to light. Everything. And there's no running. You know? If you still had your gifts, then you would, you would try to duck and dodge God. <laughs> it, you know, you can't run, man. Who do you think gave you those gifts in the first place? Anything else for group five? A lot of conflict in your life. A lot of stagnation, uncertainty. Um, any kind of you're gonna be trying to work on, you know, relationships, and this person's just like, nah, it's just not interested. And all this because of the choices that you have made. number five that's what i got for you don't forget to like share subscribe and don't forget to check out the description box for more information how to schedule your own personal readings but group five i'm be honest with you there's really no point man because even if you were to schedule a personal it, it's gonna say the same thing this is you know all i can do is offer guidance there's nothing that i can do to um change the course of your life that's something that you have to do on your own that's something you have to come to to clarity uh, you know seek clarity on in your own life um it's gonna it, it might be hard it might be hard yeah um so yeah that's what i got for you guys um group number five so we're gonna move on to the last group the purple skull here it looks red or when I'm looking at it it looks red all the colors look funky so we got blue and green I don't know if you can tell blue and green 
I got red and red and orange. So maybe all together it looks more purple now, huh? <laughs> all right. I don't know why I care about that. All right. Group number six. Let's put your timestamp at 4520. 45.25. <laughs> okay, group number six. We are going to look into what did this person do to you or what did you do to this person? And then we're going to look into what is the karma for it. Okay, so we have secrets about work, surrounding work. Okay. Maybe this person could have created a lot of conflict at work. Okay, so this is, this could have been a situation where you could have had coworkers um, creating, like maybe arguing, fighting, just spreading gossip, lies, slandering, in hopes to get you fired or cut out. <clears throat> oh, because they didn't think you knew that there was a lot of competition. There was a lot of people competing with you. So they thought, oh, well, they don't even know that, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so and, and all these people are competing with them. So that, you know, if we start, like, talking shit and slandering them and spreading all these lies, they wouldn't, you know, they're the fool. They wouldn't know. Then they can get cut out and be all sad and we can be you know have the victory all we have to do is be deceptive at work Dude, this is like mean girl fucking energy right there i don't know why i started talking like that that's the kind of vibe i got fucking lames yeah they wanted to create like they wanted to make you work really hard to earn your money you know, so they would talk shit about you to other people in hopes that these people wouldn't give to you, wouldn't um, collaborate with you. So these people actually went after potential clients that thought like, oh, well, maybe I could, you know, seek their services. And they were so intimidated that they wanted, you know, they wanted to end that. They wanted to make you struggle and just fight for scraps. They wanted to end any success. Because they knew that you were, you know, they knew that you were very stable. And they wanted to take from you. So while you're over here, you know, trying to get the, you know, get the coins that rightfully belong to you. These people are like, oh, well, let her struggle over here while we, we sneak off with all this other stuff. You know, again, it could be uh, content, ideas, stuff like that. Intellectual property. Okay, so that's what was done. What's going to be their karma? The, that will fortune that they were trying, uh, juggling. And, you know, they, they juggled a lot. These people worked really hard to um, try and get that. They, they worked, not only did they have to work hard at what they were doing for work, but they had to work extra hard to come, you know, get a lot of people to go against this other person. So they worked, worked really hard just to get rejected. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that, that abundance that you were, you were hoping to get and it, and it ain't coming in. It's not coming in. That's what it's saying. I saw a card flip. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Like, whatever you were trying to do to this person, this person's just like, all right, later. So, you know, they, they're getting away from this. So whatever bullshit you tried, you know, this person's moving away from it and going towards their success, their happiness, their new beginnings while you're over here all worried because you don't want to get caught for being a bully again. It could have been this like mean girls club. Because like, <laughs> look at that. Okay. <clears throat> These are the two different play, you know, females. You know, this one plays on her, her beauty, her sexuality. This person, you know, it's, it's about what they, what they have internally, not just, you know, because look the difference, you know, this one's like frumpy. <laughs> this one's not. 
she's, she's showing more skin. The difference between the quality of women. I don't know why I said that. The quality, it has nothing to do with the looks. It's the quality of the person. It might look pretty on the outside. But it's like, you know, picking a pretty apple to bite into it just to f find out it's full of, you know, worms and shit. Yeah, it was like this one you had to unwrap to find out, oh, this is the one where I'm going to find the, the, um... Yeah, it's like, you have to, this is like ugly packaging. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying that like this. <laughs> but it's like, you know, the packaging isn't that great. You know, it's wrapped in like, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, okay, let's move on. This person, it, it was a pretty package. But it, it was disguising the burdens that came with it where it's like, this is a diamond in, in the rough, you know? Over here. I don't know why I said that. I apologize, <laughs> guys. Like, I mean, come on, though. I mean, let's... <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see. What else? Karma for group... Karma for group six painful endings Hold on. Okay. Hold on. again you're gonna have to watch somebody have success they move away from all the bullshit that another person tried to create and moving right into success this person's like you know what I reject you and your burdens and your worry and your lack and your depression you know I reject that I don't need to you know this whole situation is going to come crashing down and burn you know this person is moving away from something that's burning over here moving towards you know there's really nothing over here but there's nothing over there. Everything over here on this side is already burning down. So this person's like, yeah, it's on fire. I'm going to go over here where it's nice and safe. And I can have success, abundance, and new beginnings. And happiness. Look at that. And this person's like, no, thank you. Oh, man. I think the karma is either that you got away or the karma could be that you got left behind. You pick your side, man. Pick the side you're on. Because you're either one or the other. Yeah, somebody feels like a fool because their whole fucking life is coming crashing down. This person really feels like a fool that they moved away from this person. All because of their greed. Yeah, this person like, oh, this, this person was struggling still and this person probably could have you know been a little bit more established and they're like oh well it looks more you know they have a nicer house this person saying that's the truth something like that all right guys i think i'm gonna leave it there don't forget to like share subscribe and don't forget to check out the description box for more information on how to schedule your own personal readings if not and this is where i leave you see you guys next time